I've never owned a carbon fiber guitar before. I've never played or even held a carbon fiber guitar before. In fact, I never heard anybody play on a carbon fiber guitar before. I read a lot about them and I heard a lot about them. I've seen pictures uh, and I really wanted to try one out. Well, today I'm going to unbox this carbon fiber guitar from Joytar. Uh, I'm really excited to open this up and see what's inside. Eight million thanks to Joytar for sending this out. Very generous of you. Thank you so much. Um, this will not be a review or demo video. This will be just an unboxing video. I want to take a look what's inside, do a quick uh, cosmetic check, uh, uh, just a visual check, um, and just share some initial um, impressions about the instrument. And I'll take a few days to get used to it and explore it. And then uh, I'll make some review, demo, um, performance videos with it. I'm really looking forward to doing that. So get my fancy schmancy box cutter here. Uh, quickly open this up. This comes packed in a big box, thick box. Um, carbon fiber guitars are supposed to be light. This box is as heavy as a normal acoustic guitar box, which means there's good padding in there, so that's awesome. Uh, the box itself is very thick, so this comes so this comes very well packed. All right, so this is a bit of a challenge. Oh, there's a gig bag in there. I didn't know that this would come in a gig bag. So that's pretty awesome. So here's what you get right out of the box. Beautiful gig bag, shoulder straps, handle. Uh, Front pocket, zipper, uh, I'm assuming papers. There's a wire in there. Um, I didn't know this was going to be acoustic electric either. So that's very interesting and it's a very pleasant surprise. I'll make sure to place the exact model of this instrument uh, on the screen and at the bottom in the video description. So this right off the bat looks beautiful. There's actually a company logo there, Joytar, right in the front. Absolutely beautiful. So now for the moment of truth, first time ever holding a carbon fiber guitar. This is not a full-size dreadnought instrument. I think it's 36 inches. It doesn't have to be a full-size dreadnought instrument because Apparently, the acoustics of a carbon fiber guitar are much bigger than on, a, on, an, uh, on an acoustic made of wood. So this is a little bit smaller. It's not a three-quarter size, though, but I do know it's a 36-inch size. And inside the case, you have this headstock holder there, which is awesome. And also, before I show you the actual instrument, the case has not just the holder for the headstock, but also the headstock rest, which is great because this would keep the guitar from shifting inside your carrying case. This is absolutely beautiful. It's not flimsy at all. It's not thin at all. It's not hardboard box, so it's not heavy, but it's very thick, very thick padding in there. So this is very high quality. Also in the back, uh, I'm not sure yet what this is for, but I'll figure it out. It looks pretty awesome. Okay, so we have that. Let me quickly open the instrument. There's also the logo on the outside wrapping. Oh, I'm really excited to open this up. I'm really excited to have one of these in my studio. Uh, quite light but not flimsy light so I, I like the weight a lot and here's what you get right out of the box from the headstock going down beautiful shape there here's the back 
This is a one piece over here. I don't see a joint in there. Or maybe there is and it's smoothed out, but I can't see a joint at all. Got a strap in there and there. Let me take the, uh, the string cover off. This is very well packed. This will come from Amazon if you order it, but it's definitely packed by Joytar. This is very well packed. Uh, inside the label, you have that. And um, I absolutely had no idea. This is not an acoustic electric, I don't think, even though I do see a plug in there, so maybe it is, but it does have controls. So it's either like the Transcontinental from Yamaha where you can add effects because I had no idea I'm getting that. Okay, and that is volume, of course, chorus and delay, and reverb. So I'm absolutely excited to read that on there. I didn't know which model they would send out. Uh, I think there is a model without this, I think. And this looks like a plug-in. So um, when I'm done with this video, I'll have to explore and find out if this plays the sounds without plugging it in or if you can actually plug it in uh, into a, an amp and um, play it like that. Uh, I am absolutely amazed by this instrument. Let me show you all around again. Headstock right there. Very beautiful rounded shape. Okay, I love the edges of this. I also like the feel of it. Very different than a wooden guitar. Very slick looking, absolutely. Beautiful rosette there, beautiful rosette. I absolutely love the color scheme, all black. Looks very slick. And also the edges, absolutely beautiful. You got fret markers here if you need that sort of thing, both on the frets and also on the side of the fingerboard. Uh, looks like it comes with elixir strings. Pretty awesome. Just the overall feel when you hold it, it's very different. It's a little bit thinner than a dreadnought and a little bit smaller, but don't think three quarter size. Maybe folk size, but actually a little bit bigger than folk size. This will not feel like a small guitar in your hands. I'm a grown man and I play full size classical guitars, which to some uh, players feel bulky, usually with a wide neck. This will not feel like a small guitar in your hands. I absolutely love the feel. Uh, I will have to play with a strap because this is a bit slippery. I usually hold the guitar like this. Uh, the bottom is a bit slippery, so I'm either going to use like one of those pads, which I use for my classical guitar anyways, or a strap. And I cannot wait to try this out. Absolutely cannot wait to try that out. Uh, so first impression, wow. Very, very awesome. I love the one piece design there. I don't see a joint at all there. And uh, just very slick looking. Love the headstock. Almost like an ovation headstock there. Um, the edges again, absolutely beautiful. And it says here on the, uh, on the inside label, be proud to be the 175th owner of a Joy Tar guitar. So apparently they're numbering these and this is the 175, uh, the 175th guitar in this series that they made. So that's pretty awesome. I am super excited to try this out. I don't know if... if that's an E, I don't have perfect pitch and I don't have a tuner here, but. Oops. That sounds more like an E, but I'm not sure. 
Where's my son when you need him, right? He has perfect pitch. Those of you that have perfect pitch, if that's not an E, I apologize. I'll stick with this one. I'm not sure. I'm not going to pretend I have perfect pitch. So I'll just strum a few chords for you. It has a very sweet and crisp sound at the same time. It's very interesting. I absolutely love it. I'll tune this up real well. I'll learn a couple of songs on it and I'll make a demo review video and then do a few performance videos. I cannot wait to uh, play on this and to try this out and very much looking forward to that. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you, Joy Tar. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending this out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to write them at the bottom in the description, in the comments, uh, in the comments area. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you're welcome to subscribe. Um, also, give this video a thumbs up when you get a chance. That'll help me with the algorithm. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Joytar. Thank you, um, my viewers. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Joytar.